be honest, in general there's a clear price threshold for tablet quality. By and large, you'll want to avoid anything under $100 as the problems you'll run into with a sub $100 tablet aren't worth what relatively little money you'll save. Like most products, in general there's long term benefit in paying a little bit extra if it means you'll get a better product. Luckily, when it comes to tablets, you don't have to look too high above $100. Actually, quality starts at about $139 thanks to Amazon to get something that won't give you buyer's remorse. At least hopefully not for the few first few months. So let me begin my top 5 video for tablets under $250. In 5th place is the Dell Venue 8, which won't set your world afire, but if you have modest needs, you won't need it to. It's a comfortable tablet with an always appreciated micro SD card slot and includes 16GB of storage for $179. If an 8 inch tablet is a bit larger than what you had in mind, there's also a 7 inch version which is $149 as well, and that meets modest needs for a reasonable price. In number 4 is the EVGA Tegra Note 7. Now the Samsung Galaxy Note line was the only stylus-based tablet you should have cared about or until now. Besides Samsung's notes, the EVGA Tegra Note 7 is the first tablet to really offer stylus integration at a level even more approaching than what Samsung has accomplished. It doesn't wholly succeed, but at $200 it's also nearly half the price of its closest stylus competitor. Gamers looking for a cheap but capable entry point into Android gaming will appreciate the Tegra Note 7 inclusion of a 1.8GHz Tegra 4, which catapults it to fantastic graphical heights. In number 3 is the Galaxy Tab 3, the 8 inch model. Now, this is one of the best Samsung tablets around, combining a bright colourful screen, a comfortable design, plenty of useful features, and a reasonable price. Actually, the user price is $299, which is a bit high, but right now Amazon is the 8 inch model for $249. That's a fantastic deal for an 8 inch tablet with as many features as this one employs. Now in number 2 is the Amazon Kindle Fire HDX7. Not only is the Kindle Fire HDX7 one of the fastest gaming tablets on the market, but it also serves as one of the two best ways to take advantage of your Amazon Prime account. Thanks to its Mayday service, if you ever have any trouble with any aspect of the tablet, live video based customer service is only about 15 seconds away. That's something no other product, tablet or otherwise, can boast. However, if its $229 price tag sounds like a bit too much, the $139 Fire HD from 2013 is available as well. It's not as pretty and doesn't offer the same customer service features, but it's the cheapest way to access Amazon's App Store and Amazon's ecosystem. Now, number one is probably the least surprising tablet on here, the Google Nexus 7 from 2013. What makes the $229 Nexus 7 better than the Kindle Fire HDX7 is just a couple things. First, full support for the latest version of Android, including access to the entire Google Play Store. Its buttons are on the side, instead of annoyingly its back as they are on the Kindle Fire HDX, and its screen is brighter and its colors more accurate. Either tablet is a worthwhile buy, so no matter which you choose, you're getting a satisfying tablet experience. Now let me know which of the tablets on this list was your favorite. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!